Thank you. Sometimes you have to do some fast thinking. I recall as a young man, I suddenly found myself one day in a predicament requiring this fast thinking, and courage, too. It was several years after the end of World War I. Having seen service in the war, I had been designated the American Legion's chaplain for Kings County, New York, and I was asked to give the invocation at a Memorial Day meeting. A big crowd was expected, but I figured I could handle a few sentences of an invocation. I proceeded to the platform and introduced myself to the chief speaker of the day, Teddy Roosevelt's son, Colonel Theodore Roosevelt, Jr. Then I sat down, picked up the program, and examined it. To my consternation, I saw I wasn't listed for an invocation at all. Instead, believe it or not, I was down for a speech just preceding Colonel Roosevelt's talk. I gulped. Indeed, I froze. I had no speech prepared. What was I to do? I walked over to Colonel Roosevelt and said, Colonel, there's been a big mistake. I was just asked to give the invocation, but look at this program. They have me down for a speech. Well, he really set me straight, and I'd like to tell you how after this message. When I protested against making a speech on such short notice, Colonel Roosevelt looked me over appraisingly. What's the matter, son, he asked. Are you afraid? Afraid? That's not the half of it. And anyway, how can I think up a speech in the next few minutes? It just isn't possible. Oh, yes, it is, he answered, and I'll tell you how. Come over here with me for a minute. He led the way to the front of the platform and drew my attention to a big section of reserved seats, all occupied by women. Do you know who those women are, he asked me. Well, they are gold star mothers. That means that every one of them lost a son in the war. Forget yourself and start feeling compassion for those wonderful mothers. Then get up there and give a talk just for them. Forget everyone else if you want to. What you say to those mothers will reach everyone else. And he threw in two final words. Think courage. I drew a deep breath and said, All right, Colonel. I'll give it a try. So I made my little speech, and he was right. Love does indeed prevail over fear. When your mind is full of concern for other people and responsive to human brotherhood, fear lets up. And that is doubly true when you forget yourself and sincerely try to do something to make life easier and happier for other people. Forget yourself. Think courage. There's a formula that's worth using. It works. <laughs>